British business, our government, are looking for ways to stimulate growth in the post-crisis environment. In the long term, but I stress in the long term, there is no better way to stimulate growth than investment in education. In fact, if we could bring the performance of the British education system up to the best in Europe, we'd add one whole percentage point to British growth for the rest of our lives. The CBI business has always been involved in education, rolling up our sleeves to help schools and teachers deliver ever better performance. But we're shifting the focus. First of all, we've mainly be concerned about 14 plus, the point at which people begin to think about the world of work. Actually, the evidence is we need to focus earlier. We need to get it right in primary school if we're to get it right in secondary school. And frankly, I think our education system has been steadily improving, but we've been aiming at the average, getting people to five good GCSEs. That's not sufficient. We haven't been stretching the most able enough, and each year, sadly, 30% of our young people have slipped away. They've been failed by the system. Well, I think we've got to liberate teachers. We've talked to lots of teachers in producing this report, and the best teachers we've talked to are rebels in the system. We've put them in straitjackets. We've stopped them delivering the sort of education they want to deliver. Now, we have to have high standards and we have to have excellent teachers, but to do that we need to free up teachers to do their best job and their head teachers too. The CBI is trying to help. We're trying to get behind the best performance of the education system. What we don't want to do is interfere or meddle. But I have to say this, look around the world. You will see economies from Singapore, from Korea, from Finland, from Hungary. You'll see countries doing excellent improvements in their education system. We can't stand still. We can't let the challenges facing education mean that we don't keep up with the world's best. Of course, education is about more than the world of work. But today's young people may be working for 50 or even 55 years. We need to give them the best chance. I think the evidence shows that in the last few years we've invested hugely in education, including in school buildings. Now that's important, but it's not sufficient. International evidence shows it's not just the money you spend. It's the quality of the teachers. It's the very purpose of education. It's whether, as well as delivering academic rigour, we produce rounded and grounded young people who have the skills and behaviours that business want, as well as the educational standards. Those things are not achieved by investment alone. This report from the CBI is not coming, calling for more money in education. It's calling for better education. Well, we need people who are streetwise. We need young people who have self-discipline, interpersonal skills, can work well as a team, can turn up on time, can serve customers well. Now, this generation of young people are as streetwise as any. But somehow in the education system, we're not always bottling that. Sometimes I think secondary schools are an exam factory. Yes, of course, qualifications are important, but there's so much more that produces the rounded person who can achieve their life's ambitions. Well, Britain's young people have many ambitions they want to achieve. They're not all the same. Not everybody wants to go through the academic route. And whatever route they choose, as long as it's their choice and it has some stretch in it, that's just as good. So I'd like to see vocational A-levels with the same status and the same esteem as academic A-levels, opening the same range of doors. Not everybody's going to go through the same door.